guys, so today's wash day. Yes, this is my big old beautiful afro. I don't understand why people think because I wear wigs somehow I neglect my hair. I literally wash my hair every two to three days, deep condition it, everything else. Right now, I've picked it out into an afro. I'm going to do a length check because you guys encouraged me since I'm drinking the um, hair and nail tea. You guys wanted to see like some before and after results. So I've only been drinking the tea for a month, but it has a lot of good ingredients in there. So I'm going to keep drinking it for like the next three months. But I'm going to take before pictures today. I'm going to straighten my hair. There goes my flat iron. I'm going to straighten my hair, see how long it is, and then... Um, I'll do some after shots like three months from now. But yeah, this is my afro, okay? Just because I wear wigs and weave does not mean I don't take care of my beautiful natural hair. How you doing? Bye, you guys. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> okay, you guys. So my hair is completely dry. I had to run errands and meet up with people. When I tell you black hair is amazing, look at this shrinkage. Look at this shrinkage. And then look, I'm flat ironing my hair. Look how long this shit is. Look, it's at my nipple. <laughs> Look at my afro compared to my hair. That's crazy, yo. Hey, you guys. So I know a lot of you guys were asking. Y'all wanted to see the final results. So the reason why I was showing my hair today is because a lot of you guys had questions about the hair and nail tea. First, let me explain something to y'all. This is my own tea company. I'm not endorsing flat tummy tea or any of those other, you know, Instagram teas that you see on social media. This is something I work with my distributor to come up with something for hair, um, you know, and nails, things that help with hair growth. We have bamboo and silica and all types of things in the tea. Um, there's also a lot of other teas I sell as well, but I know a lot of you guys were saying, well, how long have you been drinking the tea? So far, I've drunk it basically every day for the past month I enjoy it I drink tea anyways so I drink that and I also mix it with my wellness digestion tea so what I wanted to do is basically um do a length check I have not flat ironed my hair in two years I don't add any heat to my hair I wash my hair every few days um and when I say wash I mean co-wash okay I mainly wash with conditioner I don't strip my hair with laurel sulfate shampoos um every few days I only uh do a good shampoo wash once a week everything else is with a homemade conditioner that I make so that's what I mean when I say I wash my hair every two to three days it's uh co-washing not shampoo washing um and besides that I'm drinking the tea I take vitamins like you guys all know um I've just left my hair alone for the past two years been rocking my wigs and minding my damn business that's what the hell I've been doing okay um and yeah it, it's grown a lot um I'm proud of the hard work I put in <laughs> Because my hair got really damaged when I lived in LA and I was working on set all the time and they were always in my hair and it started breaking off and, you know, just the different styling and stuff like that. So that's why I just gave my hair a break. Um, you know, contrary to popular belief, I'm not bald. I'm not a hair hatted hooligan. I'm not hiding behind the European standard of beauty because I have low self esteem. No, I just enjoy wearing wigs and I take my wigs off every night and I tend to my hair, twist it, put in my oils and everything else. So again, this is why I let people assume what they want to assume about me, assume what they want to assume about my hair and whatever else, you know, let, let them have cake. At the end of the day, I know what's under my wig. I know I take good care of my hair. And um, I just want to promote hair health, you know, to women out there, you know, regardless of what you choose to do to your hair. Especially if you wear a weave, you need to maintain it. I don't wear sew-ins. I haven't had a sew-in probably since high school. The only thing I will wear is a wig because I have to take the wig off every night and be able to, you know, moisturize my hair, spray it, twist it, all that stuff. So I would never get a sew-in. That's just not my thing. But to each its own. But yeah, I want to show you guys the final results here. Um, and my baby was helping me um, brush the back of my hair and... Then he was helping me, you know, gather it so that way we could take a picture of the final results. So, yeah, I have a lot of hair, but I'm still drinking my tea and hopefully I can get some inches from drinking this tea. But, yes, I put a lot of energy, research, and money into my tea line. Even fighting to, you know, get it on Amazon was not a small feat. I mean, it took over two months, you know, having to redo wording and go through this and that. Like, what I've done in the past, you know, 
eight months of working on this has been nothing short of a dang on miracle. It's been so stressful, but I'm glad my products are here. Again, these are my products from my line, from my website. I stand behind my products. These are real research. I'm not promoting flat tummy tea. I'm not doing any of that stuff. So again, if you guys are interested in going on this, you know, tea journey with me, um, you know, for hair and seeing if it helps your hair out, you know, definitely purchase a bag. If you're not interested, that's okay too. But I just wanted to further explain the hair, skin, and nail tea. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter if I'm wearing wigs or not because I've seen some comments like, how you going to be selling hair tea and you don't even wear your real hair? We don't know what your hair looks like under that wig. Well, here's proof. I take very good care of my hair. Don't let the purple wig fool you, boo. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm about to wrap my hair up, honey, and lay down. There will be some new videos tomorrow, but you guys were asking. You guys wanted to see the final results since I've been posting stuff all day on YouTube and on Instagram. So here are the final results. Enjoy. I will talk to you guys later. Good night. Going to bed, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> all right, so my youngest is helping me comb my hair because I don't know how long it is from the back. So um, what we're going to do is comb it all the way out. Stretch it as far as I can, and then we're gonna mark it with the marker. And then I'm gonna drape my hair and nail tea for the next three months straight, and then I will do a length check in three months and see where we're at. But um, from what I feel, it feels like it's pretty long. You think it's long? Mm -hmm. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, y'all. This is like the line to where the hair stops. Yeah. Oh God, it took me about two hours to flat iron through all this hair. I'm going to try on my camera one-handed. This is me brushing my hair. No weave, no tracks, no pieces. Told you guys, just because I wear weaves does not mean that I don't take care of my real hair. My real hair is just as long as all those wigs I wear on YouTube. This is me au natural. Oh my God. I feel like I look like a little kid with my real hair. I just look super young and I don't know. I like my real hair, but I just, I don't, I don't trip off of hair. Do you, if you want to be team natural, be team natural. If you want to weave, wear weave, whatever, be team weave. But just take care of your real hair underneath. That's all I ask. But yeah, this is all me. Do, 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 do. Swing that shit. Swing that shit. Swing it. Swing it. Swing it. Hey. <laughs> okay, I'm having too much fun. Bye.